Well, getting ready to sharpen this one now, so it can do some cuts. I'm gonna lock that because this is where we're starting. I'm ambidextrous as a mechanic, so I can use the file in either hand and keep a pretty decent 30 degree angle. The angle is very important. It's also important you don't over sharpen. You don't want to go around a time and a half because half of those teeth are getting too much filing. So I always mark the top of a link. Now I know where I finish, right there. And then when I start the next one, I'll start one tooth over. And uh, I don't have a vise at home. I may need to get one of those that pound into a log. But I actually hold the uh, tooth with one hand so it doesn't, because they're kind of, they're not super tight in there. They kind of flop around a bit. And this is something you want to uh, be pretty precise with. I'll pull that in. Three teeth up, relock it, and away we go. Uh, it was Bucking, I think, that either that or could have been Tin Man that said you spin the file a little bit. It, it really enhances your your edge. And buy the files in three packs. That way you can, if you suspect that it's getting worn, just pitch it. Put a new one in, in your handle. And I have different handles. This one, my Nicholas, this isn't a Nicholas file. I had this for actual files, and I chose to use it on the uh, 3 8 pitch, which I'm honestly kind of thinking of getting away from. I'm thinking about converting this one to quarter pitch too and putting a 14 inch quarter pitch chain on here I really like how the uh, the two small ones or the three small ones because I have three quarter pitch now this is actually my only small saw that doesn't run a quarter pitch and this one I don't think I gave enough so I'm going to give it one more swipe okay Now, as you're turning, you're always pulling back just a little, not too much, but you're pulling up a little bit too to keep it seated in the cutter tooth good. It's supposed to be, I think, a quarter or a third of the file should be up out of the tooth. Originally, I actually scribed a line on the table and then I had my 30 degree X so I could from either side kind of line up. And actually those aren't bad. But after you start doing it a while, you'll really get used to that 30 degree. Uh, I think the, to cross cut or to noodle, I think it's a 10 degree. Which this, Oregon, is one that I had bought before I got the 325 chain that was on the uh, 024, 026, my little hybrid saw. It's an 024 bottom end, but an 026 top end. So it's 40 whatever, 487, 48.6. And you'll notice when you first start, that's where I started. The first stroke or two, it's really biting in a lot. And then you'll kind of feel it kind of go through smoother. Once it starts going through smoother and you see the slightest little bit of that edge roll up, you know you're probably good. Uh, where's my marked one? Oh, right there. Okay. Most people recommend you uh, move the chain with the file. I do most of the time. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just grab it. I pinch it. My daddy only knew how to make one thing, so that's a beast. So a little cut from a chainsaw tooth. That just tells me that I'm sharpening it right. Unless it hurts a lot, and then I know, oh, I gotta sharpen that one again. I check the rakers every other time I sharpen also. I don't check them every time. Because usually with just the, what, three or four strokes I give it, and count your strokes, it helps to give each tooth an even, an even file. You know, the saw needs, it's all the way around. 
That one seems fast. I wonder if I started going the wrong way. Check them. That one's sharp as shit. That one's sharp as shit. Damn, I must be getting good. Because that didn't seem to take any time at all. And yeah, there it is again. Okay. I always mark the same, a tooth on the same side. So I'm going to try and, oh yeah, erase that one. And then I'm going to spin it around. Oh, I had two marked. So from there, you know what? I think I still got them all. So those are sharp as shit too. Okay. Yeah, you really want to be careful to, to just file each tooth one time. I'd actually rather not file them again than file them twice. You know, three strokes off on one, that's not going to be good. Man, I said this was going to be a quick one. Six minutes to sharpen a chain. That is only a 12 inch, but 